I swear my room always looks clean in these videos, but I just chuck everything onto my bed because you can't see my bed or my floor, but they're not clean. <laughs> Hello humans! Now, you guys may not know, but I don't like spending lots of money. And when I say I don't like spending lots of money, that's kind of a lie. So my godsend is op shops. Is op shops are op shops. So my godsend are op shops. And luckily for me, the church I used to go to has an op shop attached to it. And I'm just like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So today I went to the op shop and I spent $28.50. So I'm going to show you what I got. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Fair warning, most of these are books. Let's do it. First, let us start off with fashion-y kind of things. Yay. First thing I got were these adorable shoes. They were $4. They have a little heel on them. And I just love them to pieces. They're so cute. They're kind of like laced up, but not at all. And they've got like a little strap at the back. And they're kind of a brown, not really leather, maybe leather. Next thing I got was this lovely um, bag. You actually, I actually undid this today. And then I was like, oh wait, it just unclipped there. And then you have space. I just love it. I love it so much. The next fashion-y thing I got was this sweater. It is three quarter length sleeves and it's stretchy. And I love it and it's really warm and it's coming up to winter here in Australia so um, jumpers are needed. The reason I say winter is because it's basically summer here all year round which is great for some people looking at you Kyla because you just live outdoors but for me people that like cold and jumpers and tea and tea it's not as great but it's getting colder ish. This actually segues nicely into the next thing I purchased, which, which was, in fact, this mug! It's so cute! It's quite little. I've got chamomile in it at the moment, and it's still a bit too hot to drink. But yeah, it's cute, and it's polka dotted, and it was 50 cents. I washed it, don't worry. It's, it's gorgeous. The next fashion-y thing that I got were these beautiful uh, plum coloured jean-type pants. They're really comfy, though, and um, they're not really skinny. But they're a bit fitted and they're like full length and they're a nice waist size and they've got pockets. The final thing that I got fashion related are these glorious pants and they're exactly the same as the purple ones except they're yellowy, browny, orange colour. These are great. I love them. Now it's the part we've all been waiting for, the books! I got a lot of books. Like 20 cents for a small book, 50 cents for a normal size book and a dollar for a hardcover. And I got like one hardcover four five bigger books and then like tons of little books so let's get straight into it the first two books i got are uh these two uh masquerade and revelations a blue bloods novel by melissa de la cruz um i'm pretty sure these are actually book two and three in the series yeah it's book two and three this person paid 19 dollars for this book so i do not regret buying it for 50 cents at all. Next book I got is The Nanny Diaries by Nicola Krauss and Emma McLaughlin. If that's even how you say your name, I'm sorry, Emma. But then at the back it says, uh, The Nanny Diaries is a modern day Mary Poppins story with attitude. And I was like, heck yes, Mary Poppins. And this originally was purchased for $25. And I got it for 50 cents. So, boom, this is why it's great. The next two books I got were Little Men and Joe's Boys by Louisa May Alcott uh, because I love little women with a passion. I love little women so much. Beth was just the tragedy of my childhood. Um, and yeah. I think this is like, it goes Little Women, then Good Wives, and then Little Men and Joe's Boys. Again, missing the connecting book, but that's okay because again, these are 20 cents. 20 cents. Yes, for children's books. The next book I got was The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. It used to belong to Morton Bay College because there's still like one of the library things in there. I love it. The next book I got is The Wishing Chair Again by Ina Blyton. I love Ina Blyton. I grew up with Ina Blyton because my nana had kept all my mum's old Ina Blyton books when she was a kid so I read all hers. And I'm pretty sure I have the first Wishing Chair book but I loved it. Chinky was like... I wanted a chinky, let's be real. I wanted a chinky. I was like, come and live with me, child of elven. He's not an elf, he's like a pixie, isn't he? The next set of books I got are five Anne of Green Gables books, but they're not Anne of Green Gables, they're kind of just Anne, really. This is book 
number two, three, four, five, and seven. And yes, for all of you ignoramuses, there is more than one Anne of Green Gables book. There are actually eight Anne of Green Gables books. The last books that I got were the Twilight Saga. They're not in the right order. I don't. I know. Don't shoot me. I've never actually read Twilight, and um, I have wanted to for a while so that I can accurately pass judgment on it. Um, so I got all four of them because they were all there. I think it was two dollars fifty for all four of them. And Breaking Dawn's a hardcover, like. Excellent. And you guys, that is the end of the things that I purchased from the op shop. For a grand total of $24.50, I got 16 books, two pairs of coloured jeans, a jumper, a pair of shoes, and a bag. Bargain. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, I don't know, maybe tell me in the comments about your most favourite op shop purchase, if you go op shopping. If you don't go op shopping, you should. Okay guys, I love you all and goodbye. Okay. Before everyone gets angry, I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I was halfway through filming this video when my battery died. So then I waited and the battery was like done and then I shot the right end of it and I was editing it just now and it's crap because the lighting is disgusting and this lighting isn't much better.